Sam, can you just take us through those three interceptions today and, and what kind of happened on them and just assess your performance as a whole today? Yeah, um, obviously didn't play well enough today. Um, didn't execute well enough. Obviously, the turnovers cost us big time. Um, the first one, um, yeah, just based on his leverage, leverage uh, maybe shouldn't have thrown it. And then the uh, the red zone turnover, um, you know, I thought, you know, Rhodes made a good play, uh, you know, probably should, obviously shouldn't have thrown it. But, um, yeah, he made a really good play. I think they busted the, their coverage. But um, and then the last one um, just, yeah, just didn't see it well enough. Um, Got to be better. Sam, how do you guys fix this? Yeah, we just got to take it one day at a time. We got a short week. Um, we got to get ready to play Denver tomorrow. Um, we'll play Denver Thursday, get ready for them tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, it's just, again, like I said, it's about taking it one day at a time right now. Um, you know, that's where we're at. Sam, what do you believe is holding you back from, from taking that next step as a quarterback? I just got to play consistent. I mean, I'm not playing consistent enough to, to play well in this league. And so – for me, I just need to, you know, play more consistent, you know, make the plays when they're there. And when they're not, just get rid of the ball, you know, check it down, do all the right things I need to do. And is it particularly frustrating because in between the interceptions, you guys were actually moving the ball, you know, reasonably well uh, on the second series, you know, and, you know, got some things going. And then the pick, you know, just seemed to deflate everything. So is that it? Is that what you're talking about, mainly with the inconsistency? Yeah, I mean, we, we drive the ball down the field. We got to execute in the red area. It was the same story last week. You know, if, if we score a touchdown there, it's a whole different ball game. Sam, how much can you – I mean, obviously, we all know the people that you're missing, um, you know, um, receiver-wise. Obviously, Lakai goes down today. How much do you – you know, do you look at that as what's holding you back, or is that an unfair excuse for you to make? No, it's not an excuse. I think <clears> – <throat> For us, it, like I said, you know, earlier this week, it's always been a next man up mentality. Whoever's out there, um, you know, coaches do a really good job, and our players, uh, my teammates, do a really good job of, you know, <clears throat> knowing the game plan, even though they're not technically starting. And that's why I think, you know, we do a really good job of having that next man up mentality. It's just, again, you know, like like we said earlier, we we're driving the ball down the field. Uh, we just got to execute in the red area, put in the end zone. Um, you had some success with Braxton in, in the first quarter. Is there anything you did at practice with him that you found useful today? Or Yeah, I mean, me and Braxton have always had a good connection, I think. Um, you know, he was out there making really good plays for us. Yeah, Sam, you guys had, I mean, a pretty good week of practice. You felt pretty good on Friday um, this after. Just how frustrating is this again to be in this spot and, you know, not have seeing that translate to Sundays. Yeah, just got to, I mean, I'm saying the same thing, but we just got to play consistent. Um, you got to execute when it's our time to execute in the red area. And that red zone pick is, you know, it's deflating. You know, sometimes obviously we need to, you know, pick ourselves back up and move on to the next series. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, when you make mistakes like that, um, you know, we can't, or I can't make mistakes like that. And what, what's the challenge for you in, in keeping, you know, your confidence and not being too cautious or, or going too aggressive when you're, when you're making those mistakes? Yeah, I think for me, I'm always going to have confidence. Uh, I just, again, I just got to, you know, execute the play that's called. That's my job. Execute the play, move the ball down the field and score when we get in the red zone. Uh, Sam, you know, there's a lot of now there's a lot of speculation swirling around your head coach, you know, a pregame report about, you know, job security and so forth. And as a player who's close to him, works with him closely. I mean, how do you feel about all that speculation? Do you think it's warranted? I mean, three three straight blowouts is it's pretty alarming. No, um, for us, he's been putting in, you know, I truly believe this and, you know, the guys in the locker room feel the same way. We've been put in great positions to go out there and succeed. 
and, you know, go out there, make plays and execute a game plan that's put together perfectly for us. It's just about us going out there and executing. That's it. Make one more. Um, what did you tell your um, your teammates to keep them encouraged or to motivate them for the next game? Yeah, you know, we got a quick turnaround. Obviously, we got a Thursday game. Um, take whatever anger, uh, any pent up anger you got from this game and translate it into, you know, having a good week of practice. Um, you know, for us, we understand, you know, we have two choices, you know, when you're pinned up against the wall, you know, you can either sit there and crumble or you can get up and fight. And that's, that's going to be our mentality is getting up fighting. And, you know, we got a long way to go. It's been three games. Obviously they haven't gone the way that we wanted, but um, you know, we're going to make the most of every game we have.